everybody, thanks for coming back to the channel. Today I wanted to go over a uh, battery replacement for your quad or your bike or your four-wheeler. Um, I've got these upgraded batteries in my both my CRF250X and now this one's going into my quad today. It's a Honda Rancher. And I just want to point out some of the differences here. Um, uh, this one here was in my Honda Rancher and I've had it since 2018 and it finally just failed. It's 2022 now, so about four years. But, um, and this is a good battery. It's a non-spillable AGM battery uh, and it held up pretty well, long periods of sitting and everything, but it finally quit this year and it was not able to be refreshed. So what I'm doing is I'm upgrading like I did in my CRF250 to the lithium battery here and right off the bat the first thing you notice when you buy these is the weight so this thing is like about two pounds this one is about eight pounds so there's pretty significant weight difference between these two you're probably not a weight weenie like some guys are maybe if they're racing or whatever but um but the, there's less stress on the frame and everything with these and they're just so light i mean it's incredible but anyway also the technology is more advanced with these as well uh, this one's got four posts on it versus two here um, this one also the feature i do like if your bike or your quad or your four-wheeler is sitting a lot it has a technology where this thing will not discharge below a certain point and it has a reserve so if the bike if the battery goes into sleep mode and you go out there say after six months or a year or whatever and you push that button it'll reactivate the battery so you're not going to necessarily be dead in the water or dead on the trail or in your garage whatever the case is so anyway um you do need a special charger for these and I'll show you that here in a second. If you want to look at the specs here, uh, this AGM battery, and like I said, this is out of a Honda Rancher, it has 180 cold cranking amps. This one here says 360 cranking amps, so it's a little hotter. Um, but let's show you the charger real quick. Okay, so here's the charger, and I'll have links in the description, as I always do with all my videos, uh, for this battery and the charger as well. They're down low in the description. It helps support the channel. I got both of these on Amazon, including the battery that's in my CRF that I'll show you here in a second. But uh, you do need a special lithium battery charger. Um, it, it's fully automatic, and you do need a special one to charge these particular batteries to keep them safe. You can't put it on a standard charger. But having said that, they're more reliable, they're lighter weight. Yes, they're more expensive, but having had one in my dirt bike for a couple of years now, I, I definitely highly recommend switching. So if you guys are not subscribers, I urge you to hit the subscribe button and you'll see I got some videos about the 250X, some mods on that. And uh, you see I've got it set up for Supermoto right now. But anyway, um, so I've had the same battery in this bike for a couple years now. And I just leave the uh, connection hanging out there. But I have not had to charge this thing in those two years ever. And the longest time I think it's sat has been about four months. I come out here and it cranks right up. It's never, never lost a charge with that lithium ion battery in it. But I just wanted to show you that, that I have it also in this bike. I got to unbury some stuff in order to get my trailer to go up and get the quad to do the maintenance. We're going to have to do some videos on this thing someday. Also, uh, one of the differences I wanted to show you here was the uh, terminals. These are looking like pretty much stainless, I'm pretty sure, and these are just lead. Um, but the blocks they give you are a lot better here. You can see it appears to be stainless, and then these are just steel. 
but um, so they come with some pretty good hardware uh, better bolts not gonna have as much corrosion here's a little tip for you I had a hell of a time getting this battery out of this battery out of the quad when I pulled it out because I have so much stuff in there like the winch wiring and everything but uh, if you get one of these velcro straps and wrap it around the battery before you put it in the slot it'll help you to remove it when it comes time to remove it I mean this this thing solves some of the problems that you frustrations you run into with your standard batteries like this one so here you can see that the nut that slides in here is a lot taller on the anti-gravity battery so that when you go to thread this you get a bite on it right away whereas the ones that come with this battery are really really short and so sometimes you can't get the nut in there deeper and you end up going with a longer I mean the bolt you go with a longer bolt and before I had to stuff blue tape underneath these uh, the nuts in order to get enough bite on it Here's the black helicopter coming to get us and we're at the bug out spot Gonna go put this battery in quad, bring it home for a little while and do some maintenance. This thing sits in here for a long time and gets stored, so that's why we're putting this battery in. Get nasty in here. Mice. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Gonna have to clear out some mice. <laughs> it's funny they built the nest right next to the poison. I knew these little bastards were gonna live here someday. It's gonna test my manlyhood if I don't jump when one of these suckers jumps out at me. I hear him squeaking. Where did he go? Heard him squeak. Don't see him though. Oh, uh oh. That's what I was afraid of. Babies, dang it. Well, that's a life of a rodent, I guess. Or the unfortunate life of a rodent. Okay, so we got another infestation in the air box, which I kind of expected would happen. So a bunch of babies in there, fish them out and then put the battery in. All right, so we got the battery installed and you can see the strap, Velcro strap there, so if I had to remove it again, I can just undo that, pull it straight out, make it a lot easier. But you can see with the winch wiring, it's pretty crammed and tight in there. But it's done, and hopefully this thing will start now and can finish the video. All right, it's all hooked up. Let's see if it's gonna fire up. Oh, it's been sitting for about two months, so that's a pretty good sign. All right, so that's it. Just wanted to show you the video on these batteries. I've had them, you know, the other one for a couple of years, and now I'm impressed with it, so I'm putting it in this, and uh, they work really well. You've got that emergency start function button on the battery, and they hold up well. Like I said, it's in my dirt bike, and that thing gets treated really rough. It does a good job. Anyway, uh, check out the other videos. We've got a bunch of related videos on trail clearing, tools, saws, all kinds of stuff. So make sure you hit the subscribe button and follow the links below. The battery in this thing is linked below so you'll know which one to get. And yeah, thanks for watching. Enjoy the outdoors.